When I was growing up, I loved watching cartoons. And you can learn some pretty surprising things about science by watching cartoons. Chemistry, uh, for example, is all about mixing colorful liquids in test tubes until they explode. Cartoon physics is about running off a cliff and not falling until you look down. The Science of Emotion recently got its own cartoons. These are little characters in your brain, one for anger, one for sadness, for fear, disgust, and joy. Unlike the chemistry and physics cartoons, emotion cartoons are inspired by an actual scientific theory. In How Emotions Are Made, I call this the classical view of emotion. Here's the basic idea. Some event happens in the world, like maybe you see a snake slithering towards you. The snake supposedly turns on a circuit in your brain where a single emotion lives, like a little cartoon character operating some controls. Every time you feel fear, for example, supposedly your fear neurons triggered. Likewise, these neurons are supposed to trigger fear in every other healthy human on the planet and also in monkeys and rats and crayfish and other, all sorts of other creatures. Fear neurons are supposed to control a distinct bodily response. Your heart's supposed to race. You're supposed to sweat. You're supposed to breathe really quickly. This is all supposed to cause a very distinctive feeling like terror um, and maybe an action like running or, or trembling. And of course, a facial expression that everyone in the world is supposed to recognize. This cartoon combination in the face and the body and the brain is said to be a fingerprint for fear that you could recognize anywhere. And likewise, other emotions are supposed to have their own fingerprints. This theory has been around for a very long time. People believe it, even though it's very cartoonish. And they believe this cartoonish story about emotions because that's how emotions feel to us. But science has taught us again and again that our experiences are a poor guide to how nature actually works. We see the sun cross the sky each day, but this doesn't mean that the sun actually revolves around the Earth. Scientific revolutions in physics and chemistry over time have revealed a world that defies common sense, and now the same is happening in the science of emotion.